battery point. Battery point. Extremely fragile goods. Now, let's uh, check out how we or where do we need to take it? Oh man, all the way on the other side of, of the city. Uh, where's our closest hideout? I think we have a hideout over there, which we could use after we get the, the goods into the city. Okay. I'm probably not going to be able to get them in. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. Wait, to the left or to the right? No, keep going forward. See? Ugh. These goods are so fragile that the slightest bump or scratch could, could basically destroy the cargo. Which is why we need to be very careful. But this is nice, guys. Driving around the countryside in the middle of the night, trying to get fragile goods to our destination. The good thing is we don't have a time limit, so we could potentially spend all day here trying to, uh, or all night, rather, trying to get there. Come on, police officer, make up your mind. Well, this is going to be tough. The hairpin. Or the hairpins. Okay, this was good because we didn't have any incoming traffic. Long vehicle, as you can see, guys. Long, very, very long. And who knows what they have in here. I mean, see, they even have that little air conditioning unit on the top of the unit or on the top of the truck, which means uh, that these goods probably need to be uh, refrigerated. Ah, the beautiful moon. Sometimes, when I look at it, it just seems so pixelated. Hmm. But that's the beauty of the moon, you know. Some people say that man hasn't set foot on the moon. That it was just a hoax. Maybe if man would have set foot on the moon, he would have seen that... Uh, it was pixelated. Or if it wasn't, he would have seen that it's not pixelated. Uh oh, uh oh. Police. I think I took the long route here. I'm not sure. But what I am sure is that we're going this way. The cop with the uh, wrecked car, that's uh, setting an example, right guys? I mean, when you have the cop driving in a wrecked car. Mm. Beautiful, the city is asleep. And look how, how little driving skill we have, even though we have passed the, the driving school just a few days ago. Come on, move it, people. Oh, no. That guy just just got in the way. But perhaps I can squeeze. No, I shouldn't try to squeeze. Or should I? Okay. No, 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 you idiot! Okay. Going this way. And yeah, so the people are asleep. They don't know that uh, we are here uh, taking these goods to the destination. Probably some goods which they will be able to buy in the morning. And for them it will be just buying another piece of, I don't know, uh, meat or whatever is in these trucks. But for us it was an entire night of trucking.
Okay. There we go. Passing through the red light. And going in front of Zero's uh, RC store. Ooh. Zero is probably asleep as well. Everybody's asleep at this hour. Everybody except these people who are driving cars in the city. And the police officers, of course. They never sleep. Police officers... I have to respect them for that. The police officers in uh, San Fierro or in the entire state of, uh, of San Andreas don't, don't really sleep. That's why they get us so easily. <laughs> well, actually, they haven't gotten us yet. Not recently, anyway. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have to go down. Oh. And it's morning. Okay. There's that fog again. Hey! Wow. So, Jizzy B wanted this stuff. Excellent. Who knows what's in there? Something for his club. Maybe some props. But anyway. Let's, uh... Get our tush over there. Oh, see what happens when you drive all night long and you don't get any sleep. Sleep deprivation will cause you to have accidents. That's why you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't deprive yourself of sleep. What's your crap? And we're in the park again. Let's see, do I have a car over here? I th yeah, I have the pimp mobile, but... Uh, this one would fit as well, but, uh, I'm just gonna dump it somewhere. Over there. <laughs> In the intersection. Alright, guys. Well. Another successful day, I, I would say. And so, we will see you all again back in the afternoon. Hello girls and guys, welcome back to San Fierro. We're going to attempt some more missions today, and there's our pimp mobile, but uh, we're not going pimp in today, we're going to uh, do something else. I don't know what yet, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna do it professionally, and perhaps even safely, though look at that guy, he's driving backwards. Now that's definitely not professionally. Look at this guy. Okay, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait and see what the police officers do and if this guy is gonna drive backwards again. Damn. Well, here comes another one. Look, 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 look. I'm having this bike. There we go. All right. Now. Let's go back to our garage and see how things are going over there, and uh, and uh, do a, the mission which is waiting for us over there. See which one it is, and which one it's not. We. Anything around here? Not really. Just a car. Let's try that jump again. I love trying this jump. We yes! And we did it and we didn't even fall off the bike this time. 
We almost did fail it out. Anyway, let's get to our garage. And hopefully our bike won't disappear. Hey CJ, what's up? Hey, what's up, Jethro? Some cops are looking for you in the office, man. Ten inch. Oh no. Nice to see y'all kicking back. Oh. I wonder how your brother's sleeping. Curled up next to his shower daddy while you lived comfortably on the outside. What y'all want this time? Well, what we want is to get on with our jobs in peace without some damn bleeding heart liberal poking his nose into affairs he won't even understand. The press on the young? What the hell would you know about it, boy? Whoa, easy there, Eddie. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some young journalist out there is trying to get a name for himself. He doesn't know how the streets work. That he's supposed to report what he's supposed to report. Yeah, anyway, we need you to shut him up for us. And that stoolie. Shut him up, too. Yeah, that's some reporter who's digging up dirt on Pulaski. We don't know who's talking, but we know the reporter's meeting it. Take care of him. Oh, this is a nice place, Carl. 